Hey everybody, it's Steve. And I uh, saw this um, post here by Greg McCluskey about trying to draw a rafter tail. So I'm going to show you how it's done. It's so simple, it's not even funny. Take you two minutes. Okay, so what I want to talk about today is rafter tails. And um, it's pretty simple, really. I've created this little house here with these exposed rafters. And what a rafter tail is really is nothing more than a molding, but you can, uh, here's rafter tail 10. We can go in here to check this one. I got auto rebuild framing on, so it'll just rebuild. And uh, there you go, you got new rafter tails. So the question is, how do you get these shapes? Well, the thing about it is, is it's just a molding. So here in plan view, Here's my little house with the roof on it. If I draw a line like this and then down like this, uh, continuous mode, pick up that line. So there's your shape. And then if you just take it and hit your three key and say, break it here, pull it back a little. Oop. I'm going to turn my snaps off and then maybe hit the three key and break it again right here and pull this like this and then make this a curve by coming down here and then clicking this again maybe here and pulling it back a little and maybe clicking it here all right and pulling this back and then pulling this up, say to here, and then curve this one. And we have a new shape, say, right here. And you can just save this now. Just go like this, highlight the whole thing, come down here. Here's your library button. Add to library, and we will call this RT custom two because I've already created one but then you come over here to your perspective overview uh, so let's open this not this let's open this um, roof up and change the rafter tail replace it go down here to my user catalog pick custom two click OK um, and we will just see it saved it as it's as the width, but um, let's just click OK and see what happens. There you go. And uh, it just stretches to fit the rafter, whatever it is. And so there's your there's the rafter tail I created. That's how easy it really is to create a rafter tail. Um, if you open this roof and you can see this, I made this thing 56 inches by 18, but it, it re stretches to fit the rafter right here. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> you could um, uh, make this a little more accurate, maybe use a polyline like this and say, make it 24 by minus 9.25, okay? And then I'm going to take my line weights off. Then just mani manipulate the end here, you know. Break it there, pull it back. Break it here, pull it back. Maybe you want to do this. I don't know why you'd want to do that. That's pretty hideous. I mean... You can make any shape you want, is I guess my point, okay? And uh, let's just pull this right out to here. Boy, that's lousy. <laughs> um, it looks like a some kind of sailboat. But anyway, in fact, we can just make this even smaller like this. And uh, my point being here, let's just make this straight again. And 
break it right here and then make this a curve and pull it in there. Now that might be a little more interesting. No, it's not. But you get my point there. Okay, so if that's your rafter tail, you just highlight this thing right here and add it to your library and we'll call it rafter tail custom mess because that's what it is. Okay, and then we go back here to our full view and we open the roof, replace, put that one in there. There you go. There's our mess exaggerated to the max and uh, standard view, which you can't see it very well, but um, vector view. So pretty much anything you create in plan view, you can turn it into a uh, to a rafter tail. So it's it's really just a polyline and it'll stretch to fit. Like right now, these are nine and a quarter inch rafters. We'll go to the structure page. Um, if we made them seven and a quarter. OK. They will adjust, as you saw. They'll just stretch to fit. So um, I hope that helps. Uh, a little bit of lesson on rafter tails. Thanks.